my name is Kepi Kate, and welcome back to Wolf Quest! Oh no! Hold on! Go home! And we have a lost puck we have to find! Hold on! Everything is- everything is awful! Hold on! Pup 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 pup! Pup pup! Pup pup pup! Pup Puppy! Where's our puppy? Right there! No! Okay, okay, okay. Hopefully the other pups went inside. Wow, that was the fastest intro I ever did. So, welcome back to Wolf Quest. We lost a pup, an eagle attacked. Things are not looking so good right now. Must take the pup back <laughs> to the den. Are the other ones inside? Please tell me they're inside. Okay. Is everything okay? Go home. Oh. Everything's fine. <laughs> Everything was kind of scary there for a second, but everything's fine now. Bane, thank you for making sure they got inside. Whew. All right. So, update. We're hungry. We need to go hunt. I haven't looked at the map yet. Looks like our pups are not hungry at all. They're already halfway, if not more, to eight pounds. Eight pounds! Okay. Our fleas are still at mild, but we are getting there. So hopefully in the last episode's comments, you guys told me which den you were looking at and who's your favorite pup so far. I would love to know. And if you didn't comment that in the last episode, do it in this one. <laughs> I would love to know. <laughs> All right, we're going to ask Bane to come with us because we need to hunt. He is hungry. I am hungry. I'm going to look at the map. Ooh, so looks like our territory is not too bad, but it's taken somewhat of a beating, especially over here. So we're probably going to hunt in this direction today over to the right side of where our territory is to strengthen up those markers and then maybe head back around and try and strengthen up a few more. So I think we're going to tinkle right here. I know, but I want to make sure it's 100%. Okay. Okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. Um, so I do smell mule deer. Elk are much, much preferred. Checking our map. Okay. We're headed in a good direction to strengthen up our territory. Oh, goodness. <laughs> what an intro. <laughs> Let's go ahead and strengthen here. Take a little tinkle. Ooh, maybe we should try and hunt some beavers today. I don't know if we're anywhere near a river, but if we happen to find one, that would be a fun thing to hunt. I've only successfully hunt beaver a couple of times just because it's such a new thing in the game that they just added. They added that before the scavenger hunt stuff, but it's still pretty new. I smell moose, but we don't want to hunt a moose right now. Ooh, I heard a howl. Uh-oh. There might be some wolves running around. Oh, there's the moose. And there's a den nearby. Do we happen to smell it? I do not. What else? Uh-oh. Male toad flax. I like that name. Toad flax dispersal. Okay, hopefully... They aren't going after our pups because we are not at the den right now. But our affinity is pretty high, so the pups should be smart enough to stay inside. Ooh, we're pretty close to this den. Ooh, I think I smell it. Ah, here's another one. Ah, oh, so many home options. <laughs> I still prefer the rocky ones, but if we ever find... If we ever find one that is a tree stump, those are pretty. And I'll have to show you guys those. Take a little tinkle. Perfect. So here's a river. We could potentially see... <gasps> guys, I found another question mark. We got to check out the question mark. And then we can talk about beavers. But question mark first. Ooh, there is a grit. Mm, it's a lot of water. We can get across. Huh? Oh, that was a beaver den thing right there. 
Do we smell it? We still smell it across the water. Oh, this is so fun. <laughs> it's like hide and seek with items. Well, that's what scavenger hunting is. Ooh, bun bun. Oh! <laughs> if Kiva was out in the wild, she would make sure she got all the bun buns. Maybe she'll pass that on to one of her puppies. Okay, the next one we get, we'll give to Bane. I heard something bad, but then it went away. Hello? I smell a thing. I smell it up here. Hmm. Oh, what is that? A straw hat? <gasps> For animals who like wearing grass on their heads. Can I can I put it on? That would be the best. <laughs> is that a straw hat? It looks like leather to me. That is so cool. <laughs> Bane's just in the background like, Babe, what are you doing? <laughs> we have so many better things to be doing right now. <laughs> Nope, this is picture worthy. We're doing it. Yep, now I get to remember this forever. <laughs> okay, well, should we take it? Well, we have to do hunting, so I don't think we should take it with us. But that's still pretty cool. I'm glad we found it. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't trick us later into thinking that it's something we haven't found yet. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah. Ah. We're not a rock climber here, guys. All right, so I smell bison, mule deer, no, ooh. I smell elk. We're in a place that doesn't have a territory marker. We might as well take it. Why not? Never hurts to have more territory. Hmm. We're definitely not hunting bison, guys. Let's see where we are on the map. Oh wow, we went down quite a ways, even though the scent kind of led us this way and there's no scent this way, but it's pretty open and we were talking about hunting beavers. So let's see if we can smell, I smell coyotes. If we find a beaver den, they're pretty obvious as to where they are. Mule deer, that was two hours ago. Hmm. My gosh, this game is so pretty. I do smell elk this way. Having an elk would not be bad, but it goes straight into their territory. And they don't seem to be close by. Hmm. Yeah, I think I would much rather... I'd much rather work on hunting in areas where our territory is weak because the weaker our territory is, the more risk our pups have of other wolves attacking. So let's keep on task here. Make sure that we're getting our territory a little bit stronger while we hunt within that area. If we want to venture out later, we can, but for right now, oh, Bane, go get the bun bun. Bane, hurry up. No, don't wait on me. Just go get it. Bane. He's so sweet. Like, <laughs> he always wants to make sure we're okay. I think that's something I've noticed about him in this playthrough is that he's very careful to make sure we're okay to stay with us or to stay close to the den. Like in the last episode, he didn't want to seem to leave the den. Oh. Is that a cougar or a coyote? That's a coyote. Okay. Let's see. Hmm. So we're just getting the sense from back here, which isn't going to help us very much. So let's just keep going. Hopefully we'll run up on something that's an easy, easy take. Maybe a carcass that we just can't smell right now. I can't wait for the next step in this game because we kind of get to do another version of a scavenger hunt 
It's my favorite part, even though it's kind of sad. But you'll see what happens. I don't want to spoil anything. Hmm. Yeah, all the scents are behind us, so we're really kind of taking a risk here. Let's go ahead and strengthen our territory right now. Perfect. Okay, and we're headed in the perfect direction to strengthen those last two. Oh, I think we're coming up on that other den that I really like. Maybe. Those rocks look super familiar. If we strengthen these two, we could might, like, turn around and get the elk back that way. Yeah, I think this is the area where the other den is. So in the last episode, we found a really cool den in the Crevice Lake area. But we had found this one earlier, and I had mentioned how I really, really, really like this den. And I'd be super interested in moving them here. Okay, we took that one. Well, we already took it. We made it stronger. That's what we did. I haven't really traveled much beyond... I know I, I said I played this game a lot. I do. But I usually just stay within the area that they make easiest for you. I've never really tried pushing into other PAX territories and exploring the map further than the, the easier area to be in. So it might be fun since this is our power couple and they're not really afraid of anything other than probably losing their pups. We could maybe do something where they push up into other PAX territories and explore. That might be how we find some of those special areas in the scavenger hunt because there's also spots in the map to find, not just items. And I haven't found any of those yet either, so it'd be something pretty cool we get to do together that even I haven't experienced. Oh, like this view. Look at that. Wow. Oh, I hope I get to see that one day. All right, back to... You guys see that, right? Did we find that before? Was that the thing that we found before? Am I just fooling myself? I think I'm fooling myself, you guys. Oh. I don't know. This seems different. Oh my gosh. We're just like... Oh, and I see... I see a deer. I think... It might be a buck, though. Well... We could try and get this deer. Let's figure out what this question mark is and then let's see if maybe this deer is an easy take. A fishing pole? <laughs> yep, we're just gonna go fishing. <laughs> that is the cutest. <laughs> This is the best part. <laughs> Where we get to take pictures with the items we find. <laughs> okay. Wow. We have found so many. Uh, and... Ooh, I don't know if we're going to get her. We're in an open field. Like, straight, just open field. Getting a mule deer in an open field is really hard. Mm. Oh, and we're we're pretty tired. Oh no. Oh yeah, run into the tree. Okay, come on, Bane. I slowed her down. Help, help. Oof. Oh, she hit me with her back legs pretty hard. Well, maybe we can run her into the forest, and she's gonna have a hard time navigating the tree. Wow, did she just stop? Come on, Bane. Good job. Oh. Come on. Come on. No. Bane. You, you can do this. Okay, good. Oh, our stamina is not the best. Oh, look. They're getting her, though. Oh. oh she's running into the other deer to try and confuse us, but it's not going to work. Come on, stamina. Come back. I know we're tired, but come back. Oh. Working together. That's the best way to do it. Almost. Almost. No! 
Don't let her get away! Oh, stamina. Oh, that was perfect timing. Right as he let go, we latched on. Yes! Oh, our power couple. Our power couple is so good. They're so good. Oh, hopefully that's enough food, though. Oh, yeah. We're going to be just fine. There might actually be leftover that we can take back with us. Or maybe I'll grab the fishing, fishing pole and bring the fishing pole back to the den. <laughs> Alright, just a little more. No, I think we might actually eat it all. Ooh. What about you? Are you full, Bane? You just get one more bite. Oh, at least no other wolves have gotten upset that we're over here. Uh, why'd you chase the deer off? What are they gonna do? Alright, I'm gonna take the rest of this as a meat chunk. Perfect! Very nice. Wow! That wasn't so bad, and it looks like... Okay, so we took some of our territory back. Wow, we could just take this if we wanted to. But I'm more concerned with keeping our territory strong. So, okay. Okay, Fox, you can you can go eat the rest. I don't, unless Bane ate it all. Did you eat it all, Bane? I don't see it anymore. Oh, it's still there. Uh, that eagle is like, oh, I want some. Oh, how pretty. That's so pretty. Wow. Okay. Well, they did it. <laughs> they took down the mule deer, even though I still think that mule deer are harder to catch than the elk. <laughs> well, I think that we'll go ahead and end this episode here. Um, I will meet you guys back in the next episode at the den, where we will feed our little puppies, see them grow just a little bit more, play with them, and do some more scavenger hunting and territory taking. I, I think that, like I said before, since we only have the three pups, it might be fun to see how big we can get our territory with our power couple. Because, I mean, we could even kind of pass that on as far as story goes into the Snagglefang pack uh, story. That that's one of their goals is to always have the biggest territory no matter what. Oh, I almost ate all that. Hey! Uh-oh. Hey, wasn't this the one from before? Wow. Interesting. I think that was the one from before. Huh. Was it a dispersal or was it a part of the... I think it's just a dispersal. But it might have been a part of the Prospect Peak Pack because we're we're right on the edge of their territory. Interesting. I feel like their reputation is really known across the packs. Like, oh, don't mess with that Snaggle Fang Pack. <laughs> Those two alphas, they're going to beat you up. <laughs> and so they're like, oh, wolves in our territory. And then they see it's us and they're like, nope, never mind. <laughs> Must go get back up. Must go get back up. Okay, so like I said, next episode, we'll get back at the den. We'll catch up with our pups because our affinity is really low. We might even want to start looking at moving to a new den because our fleas are up to 25%, which doesn't seem like a lot, but I don't want it to get too far up there. It makes it harder to hunt. It makes it more um, likely that the pups will get sick. So yeah. If you guys have an idea of which den you want to go to, whether it's the one that's closer to the Prospect Peak Pack or the one closer to the Crevice Lake Pack, give me your ideas in the comments below. And if you didn't in the last episode, go ahead and tell me who's your favorite wolf pup and why you want them to possibly be the heir to the Snagglefane Pack. Okay? Well, that is it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this episode, give the like button a tickle and a poke. And make sure that you subscribe to join our family and continue to watch episodes of Akiba and Bane and their three beautiful boys and see where they go and grow up to look like in the future. 
Um, and also ring the bell if you want notifications of when our wolf quest videos are posted or any other series on our channel. So thank you again. I love you guys. And I'll see you next time. Bye.